Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you the Fopic tripod. I got one because I wanted to start filming with my phone and I selected this uh, particular brand because it came with a phone holder. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a closer look. As you can see, it's uh, 55 inches, so compared to the door, it's a good size. At its smallest, it's about 24 inches. As you can see, it has a swivel right here, so we can actually adjust for different angles. And this is a, a success plus, but then you, you can actually adjust this part and it can fit different phone sizes, uh, larger and smaller. So probably like the Galaxy Note can fit in here as well, as well as like a, like even like a iPhone 5, something small. You can hold different sizes, of, uh, you can hold a different size phone by just simply turning it higher or lower and it could fit uh, like i said it could fit many different size phones and this is how it looks like so this tripod can be compact this is around 18 inches to 2 feet 24 inches its highest length is uh, 55 inches just to give you guys a comparison to the door Um, it's quite easy to use. It has like these clamps right here, so you can actually adjust it. I'm going to show you real fast. So let's see this clamp, see how it goes down. Basically what it came with, a bag and this Bluetooth remote. Faux pick right here. Pretty simple. Uh, also, it can switch to portrait mode by just Another swivel right here. So once you switch it to portrait, you can also adjust it different angles. Um, other than that, it's pretty pretty easy to use, self-explanatory, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a nice tripod. It's a little bit light, so I would not uh, recommend using it outdoors, although for a phone, it should be fine if it's not too windy. Uh, if you're gonna put a DSL camera on, then you probably would want to stay indoors or put some sandbags on the bottom. So I'm gonna show you guys right now with a camera. All right, so this is with uh, the phone on right now, but I'm gonna show you how to put a camera on. So basically on the side, you have this little notch, and as soon as you pull it, then you can pull this part piece off. Uh, what you're gonna to wanna to do is now take this, unscrew this part. And as soon as you unscrew this part, now you can put this into your camera has the same threading. And you just basically slide it in and there we go. So now you have a camera tripod. Oh, and one last thing, you guys can also make it portrait mode with your camera by just shifting it to the side. All right, so let me go ahead and compact it, make it smaller. So basically, Unclamp it. Now you're ready to go.